The QEW is one of the most important highways in Canada, providing transportation of commercial goods that helps our country thrive. And the final stretch from Niagara Falls to Fort Erie that leads into the United States is certainly a crucial part of this lifeline. Improvements to the highway are essential for trade, tourism, and the local traffic to keep it moving efficiently and safely. One of these improvements is happening on the Welland River Bridge, the longest steel girder span along the QEW. The existing bridge is being removed and a new bridge is going in. The company responsible for installing the massive amount of new steel, local steel specialists, Niagara Rigging and Erecting. First sets of girders are going up on Pier 2. There'll be four going up in total today. We gotta make some air splices, set them up on our temporary uh, shoring. We'll repeat the same thing in the next couple days here, and then we'll be over the pier and ready to head south. Critical part of the project. Gotta make sure everybody's ready to go. You guys are all paid to work safe. Everyone is expected to work safe. Tie off anywhere you're going, make sure you guys are working safe at all times. It's easy, Paul. Slow, slow. Okay, hold it right there one second. We set it up. going really well. We're progressing along right on schedule. We lost a couple days with uh, heavy wind this spring and rain. So we've been able to claw uh, those days back actually. The guys are working really hard and we're getting everything tidied up the way it needs to be. You want to make sure things are happening in a with a steady flow all the time. Trucks coming in, steel either being unloaded or being erected you know, organizing deliveries and keeping guys in the background working. So it's just keeping those logistics uh, rolling forward all the time and progressing forward. With so many steel girders of this size comes very little wiggle room, if any. Precision is key. Coming down and hold the right there, beauty. Hey Adam, you wanna boom it down there after or you wanna just bring it down on the line? We're holding it out right now. Okay, hold it right there one second, just hold it, hold it one second. Navigating the job site with the other trades is always a challenge, and this one comes with an extra hurdle. An active CP rail line runs right through the middle of the project. Track awareness here is imperative, and constant communication with rail line officials is crucial, always. Weather cooperating, the NRE crew have hit their stride, and the girders are going in nicely. They're ahead of schedule and keep plowing forward. The first one we had to push out a little bit. The other one was a little tight, we had to push it back. So it's, and then the sun and the heat play a huge part. The steel just changes like crazy, grows, closes your gap on you. The girder sitting there on the ground over there is probably stretching out a bit with the heat. 50, 60 mil difference over the day. A lot of changes. This is the last girder to go in for the project. 
weather's cooperating today, not a lot of wind at all, and uh, it's a little cooler out today, so it makes it better for us. The last girder goes in without any issues, and the big lifts are finished. Lots of focus, lots of experience, and lots of skill gets lots of big steel installed safely and ahead of schedule. Yeah, we're uh, at the finish line. Got the last girder in this morning, and the guys uh, and the crew have done one hell of a job. Everybody was everybody was working together and really making it happen and, and dialed in for sure. Oh yeah, it's a great day. You know, the job went well. Real, real good teamwork. It was a big day. Uh, it was nice to finish the steel, all the steel lava. The big pieces are done. Everything went smooth and went nice. Good crew, all the guys, great work. Everybody put a good effort on it. We got a great team on in this bridge, this project. Communication is definitely the, the biggest key to the, getting the job done successfully. It was a fun job, everything, everything went as planned. Good, good group of guys, so it went good. I, I enjoyed it, I was glad to be a part of it. Everybody was dialed in and comes to work every day, ready to work and, and working together. I can't say enough about the crew. They, they've done a, a great job. Uh, we took a buddy's little son for a boat trip and we came and looked at the bridge. He enjoyed it, so yeah, we're not catching bass, we're looking at the bridge. <laughs> I guess you could say it's like a feather in your cap. I drive by here every time I come with my kids and my family and if this is a proud moment on the history of my background and everything is of course great. I feel proud of what I do and that's great. It's a great feeling. We take a lot of pride in doing uh, work here locally in Niagara Falls in our hometown and it doesn't matter we've, if we're doing just a small uh, plaza or a, a large bridge or, or whatever the case may be. Um, there's, there's a lot of sense of pride in working in your hometown and helping build you know the community and things around you and improving infrastructure just in your hometown and uh, definitely a sense of pride for for us all of the steel between the gap on the QEW over the Welland River is now in and ready to go to provide safe passage to millions of vehicles for decades to come in the fall the bridge will fully reopen Niagara rigging and erecting have helped ensure that one of Canada's most important highways stays safe and up to date, keeping the country connected.